felt welcome on board the research vessel Aurora. When a ship leaves port, there's always an intriguing sense of traveling into the unknown waters, a sense of adventure. When the candidates announced their candidacies months ago, the course was set, an almost classical race between two establishments' favorites, a Clinton against the Bush. Needless to say, the course of that ship has changed many times, and today we are in the midst of an election that nobody anticipated. And who knows what kind of surprises we will witness before the election ship docks on November the 8th. Firstly, we are honored that the U.S. Ambassador to Denmark, Mr. Rufus Gifford, has joined us today in spite of a busy schedule and recent sad events in the U.S. and the U.K. Before taking office as ambassadors to Denmark in 2013, Rufus Gifford served as finance director of Barack Obama's re-election campaign in 2012. So, Mr. Ambassador, we look forward to learning from the notes in your personal logbook. <laughs> Ambassador Gifford is also a close friend of Aarhus University, and we are excited that you will share your views with us today. On the ambassador's side are two Danish politicians with a keen interest in foreign affairs and U.S. politics. Mr. Nikolai Bamen is a member of the Parliament for the Social Democratic Party and its spokesman on political affairs. He has previously served as Minister of Defense and not least as mayor of my hometown, Aarhus. <laughs> then, of course, Nikolai is an alumni of Aarhus University. <laughs> <laughs> we are also grateful that Søren Espersen joined us today. Mr. Søren Espersen is also a member of the party and chairman of the Foreign Policy Committee. Søren Espersen is a recognized observer of international affairs and known as a man who stands by his views. Thank you for joining the panel today. Let me introduce today's captain of the debate, our moderator, Emily Cochran Beck. Emily is one of our talented assistant professors at the Department of Political Science, and Emily will make sure that we stay on the right course. As her name suggests, Emily has a U.S. background, and with these words, I kindly ask Emily to take the floor, or should I say, the deck. <laughs> On behalf of Aarhus University, I welcome you all, and I wish you all a great debate. Thank you. This anti-establishment, polarized uh, debate, uh, the, the narrative, that's where it is. So the Trump, the, the Trump phenomenon. We've seen weird things, and I want to remind you about that. Also, what was the same that I, the Wild things he did in the beginning. There was a, there was a, no, he, well, he, he is he has also an enormous challenge that somehow she has got to figure out, just like he does, how you appeal to people who do not like you. The last 70 years, um, where the United States and Europe has been standing side by side, shoulder to shoulder, um, uh, we can't forget that, and as far as I'm concerned, uh, we do everything we can to double down on, uh, on, on that. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.